Hey everybody, welcome to Algo Prep Master and in this video I'm gonna show you how to perform bubble sort, the bubble sort algorithm with just one line using JavaScript. So the way that bubble sort works is it compares elements in the array and if it finds an element that's bigger than the other it would move it if needed uh, and swap it if needed and with each iteration that it does that it pushes the highest elements of the array all the way to the end and that's how it sorts the array so uh, the benefits of uh, bubble sort would be uh, that it's not as complex and hard to remember and hard to code like other sorting algorithms it also has a best time complexity of O of N um, and the disadvantages of using bubble sort would be that it, from all the sorting algorithms it's probably the slowest one um, but it is a common topic in uh, coding interviews it's something that's very important to remember for coding interviews so I want to show you how with uh, using JavaScript ES6 we can do a bubble sort the bubble sort alg algorithm with just one line and the way we want to do it is we want to have a bubble sort function that takes an array as an argument and I'm using uh, arrow function so we want to code this exactly like I explained this. We want to iterate through the array and check items, check elements in the array and see if they like if the element on the right is bigger, then we swap it. Okay, so we do an if statement and we do exactly what I just described. and inside the if statement we wanna just like I explained swap if it does match our condition after that we want to increment and add our less condition. Okay, pretty simple. Um, now I want to test this code out. So let's declare our array and log it to the console. As you can see, we have now a sorted array and that's how you perform a bubble sort with JavaScript, ES6, only with one line. It's super interesting. Uh, I love uh, the new ES6 uh, arrow functions and how you can simplify code. Uh, I know it's super controversial because some people say hey it's not the best like you you want to have uh, a more uh, understandable code than complicated but at the same time you can you know explain it with comments if you are on your own projects you can use the error functions and just have less lines of code and instead of even more lines of code you can just explain your code better um, but, but that's just my personal opinion and uh, yeah I hope you guys learned something new from this video and learned how to perform the bubble sort algorithm and if you like this video guys please leave a thumbs up and subscribe and until the next one guys peace out and thank you for watching